What we found with this analysis is that seizures often begin at frequencies that historically haven't uh, been looked at carefully. So while it's an old technique, intracranial EEG, we're now beginning to ask questions about how we perform intracranial EEG and can, are there uh, techniques that we can use to extend intracranial EEG and improve the performance of intracranial EEG? And I think the preliminary data suggests that the answer to that is yes. A useful analogy that is often helpful is the idea of a forest fire. And a forest fire may begin from a very small nidus but if you don't catch it at its onset, as it spreads, it becomes very difficult to determine where that event, where that fire started from. So the idea of determining exactly where it began is the goal. And if you can do that, if you can remove that nidus of tissue that is igniting the seizure, then you have the chance of rendering the patient seizure free. To extend that analogy, what we've done historically might be thought of as looking for forest fires from outer space where you have very poor, a relatively poor spatial resolution and, you're, and maybe you're looking over a narrow bandwidth of frequencies and it's not until this, the fire in that case gets large enough that you can actually detect it. What we're asking is what if you use a more sensitive sensor, extend the bandwidth, better spatial sampling, can you more tightly identify where the seizures start from? So this is an early study and it's important to consider the limitations of this study. It is a retrospective study, so the data were anal analyzed after the fact and then compared with the patient's outcome from epilepsy surgery. And the primary result is, is that we've identified that it's a particular seizure onset pattern that is more frequently associated with uh, seizure-free outcomes. What this means for the future is that intracranial monitoring <clears throat> may be able to improve the yield, the success rate of uh, epilepsy surgery. And these studies are now um, underway.